Welcome back to another guide on consistent characters using Midjourney. I have had a few requests from our small community to create this video, and a few days ago Midjourney 5.2 came out. The new update is really amazing and has had a big impact on creating consistent characters. I really believe that this is one of the best updates yet when it comes to character consistency. I haven't seen anyone talk about this method yet, so I thought it was a good time to create this guide. Let's start off by creating a character sheet. I will go with a character that some of you might recognize from my first video. A cute girl with short curly hair, different angles character sheet in the style of children's book illustration. Here is the first tip. In my experience if you write different angles before you write character sheet, you'll get more characters in the output. Here is a quick comparison. The one on the right is with different angles first. Let's go with an aspect ratio of 16 and 9. I add repeat and the number 3 at the end. Repeat is another great parameter that repeats or runs the same prompt multiple times. I will go with 3 and it repeats the same prompt 3 times. This gives us a range of options to choose from. And here are the images that we got from our prompt. There is less deformities and better poses in Midjourney 5.2 in my experience so far. Let's choose this one and upscale so we can take a look at the new features. Here we go. Now we got a few extra buttons we can click. Make sure you're on Midjourney 5.2 if you want to try out these features. We got the very buttons that gives you a similar but new image with more or less changes depending on if you click on subtle or strong. Down here there is a few zoom buttons. This right here is the magic you'll see in a bit. The very buttons alone does a lot of the job for us. Let's click the strong one here. And we get this window, which lets us edit the prompt and remix the image. I will add the repeat parameter and set it to 3. And here are the results, we see a similar composition and with a lot of variations. This is actually pretty good already, we just got a bunch of results and some of them are pretty similar and consistent. If you're good at Photoshop or a similar image editor, this should be enough to create some beautiful illustrations. Now let's try the other button. I'll go back to our first image and click on very subtle this time. Let's write, repeat 3 again. And we got another set of results. As you might notice, these are more similar to our first image, compared to the first three images we generated using the strong variation button. Here is a better comparison. The subtle variations are more similar to our first image. What does this mean? So what does this mean? Well, we just got two new amazing features with Midjourney 5.2 that makes it incredibly easy to generate a bunch of consistent characters and outputs. Before we move on to the next features, I want to create a page for a children's book using the images we just generated. Let's start with Lila. I like the pose on the left, but her head is better on the right one. It's really easy to just copy the head and put it on the other pose. And that is because it's from the same character sheet and they are wearing the same gear. This might look advanced or hard, but trust me, if you put 3 hours per week to try and learn Photoshop, you'll be there before next month. Let's make our corgi float on the surface of the moon. I have used Midjourney to generate the background of this image. I have had some thoughts about creating a smaller group and teaching the essentials of Photoshop for this purpose. If you're interested, write a comment down below and mention that. I will reply with further instructions. Now before I show you the last features, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video and drop a comment down below. This is my second month on YouTube and I really appreciate all the support I get. I'd like to thank you for your support. Now let's get back to these amazing new features that Midjourney 5.2 has dropped on us. Down here below the very buttons we have a bunch of new options like zoom out 2x and zoom out 1.5x which does exactly that. We can choose to zoom out an image now and Midjourney does the outpainting for us. We have the custom zoom which I'm sure will be used for a bunch of creative stuff and lastly make square which will turn your image into a square. If your image is already a square it will do nothing. I want to show you a simple example of this feature before I show you the trick that I use to generate consistent characters. 
Here is a close-up image of an eye that I generated by writing close-up portrait of an eye woman cinematic colors. Let's upscale one and click on zoom out 2x. For this experiment I will keep the same prompt and not change anything. And here is the results. We see a variation of our first image but zoomed out and we get a glimpse of her nose and hair. Let's do it again. We upscale and zoom out 2x again. Now we got an even more zoomed out image but it still keeps our previous result and only changes the zoomed out part. I zoomed out a couple more times and got this and then this. If we put all the images together we can create something cool like this. Here's another example that I took from GitHub. This is extraordinary. I can't believe that we can pull this off with mid-journey. Now you might wonder, what does that have to do with consistent characters? Well, let me show you something. Let's go to a character sheet of our Corgi that I generated earlier. I realized that the zoom button does indeed keep the original image but it adds new parts and zooms out. The new parts of the zoomed out image are inspired from the first image, so it should make it much easier to be consistent with both the character and the style. So let's see what we get. Now instead of using the very buttons, we'll click on the zoom 2x. It will not change the results that are from the first image. What this does is that it zooms out and tries to outpaint our image with the same character or object as the original image. The reason this happens is because we kept the same prompt. Now we get even more angles and poses of our character. If the outputs aren't consistent, you can try and add the seed number of your first image for better results. If you don't know how to get the seed number, I'll show you quickly. You go to your image in mid-journey, right-click, choose Add Reaction and find the envelope emoji. I have used this before, so it's at the top. If you can't find it here, just click on view more down here and search for envelope. Click on it and right after that you'll get a message from the mid journey bot with the seed number. Now let's create another page for our children's book. We can have our characters visit Mars in this one. Now that we can generate consistent characters, we need to expand our vocabulary and learn to write better prompts. Remember that you'll have more control and can be more accurate if you write better prompts. Now getting back to the scene, I want some of the orange light to spill over our character. I choose the gradient tool and get the effect I want. Let's not forget to add a shadow. It gives the image a better look and helps the character to melt with the rest of the scene. What is our main character without her sidekick? Let's put our corgi in the air in this one and turn him upside down. It makes the scene more playful and that's what it's all about. Having fun and creating things. I went ahead and added two cozy futuristic cabins in the background. A place where our characters can rest after a long day on Mars. I added the shadows based on the direction of the sun. I used the gradient tool again to make some angles of our cabin darker. I did the same thing for our second cabin, and I must say that I really like how they turned out. As always, if you have any tips and tricks that you want to share with me, or if you have any other ideas of what could have been added to this scene, make sure to write a comment down below. I answer all the comments myself. The future will all be about communicating with AI to be more effective and get ahead of the competition. I promise you that if you put some time into learning the essentials now, you'll have a great advantage soon and not many people would be able to compete with you. That is why I've created a cheat sheet of important keywords, prompts and styles that I have put together for the last four months. You'll find the link in the description down below. This is all you'll ever need for creating consistent characters amazing high content stories with beautiful and unique styles. Let me show you one of the styles from the cheat sheet. This is a style that I have fallen in love with for the last few weeks and have used a lot. Let's write a new prompt and generate a character sheet of a panda. 
I will add the style of Beatrix Potter by adding in the watercolor style of Beatrix Potter. And here are the results. I really like this style and have created some beautiful books inspired by the style of Beatrix Potter. I have added 29 unique styles in the guide that I mentioned earlier and you should definitely check it out. I have put the link in the description down below. While at it, don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment below and join our community on Discord. I appreciate you for watching the entire video and see you in the next one.